All right, today we're going to talk about human saturation. Uh, pretty simple tutorial. Uh, just best works if you have color, but later on in the tutorial I'm going to do a picture that has color, but uh, right now I have one that's black and white and it's kind of a harder process to do, so actually what I'm actually just going to do is delete this layer, this master pick layer, and I'm going to end up turning this master pick layer to this and show you how to do it. But right now, uh, I'm going to use that, that other process for how to turn black and white to color from, from the red in the beginning. So right now, I'm just going to turn this one on where I actually have, I just decided just to use just her hair because it's pretty much a lot difficult in here. So what I want to do is drag this layer down and now I can just turn this one off so you can see transition I'm making. And what you want to actually do is hit hue and saturation. Now, one thing you got to remember about hue and saturation is that when you have a paintbrush right here, this is the uh, layer mask. So whatever you do on this layer, it'll mask it to the picture. So remember that white brings it back, black takes it away. So if I was to take this hue button and turn this, and we're going to make her hair more of a, of a yellow. Now... If I wanted to take some of that away and have it like yellow and blue, I would paint with black. So it would be painting, remember I'm on this layer, be painting black, and bam, she's right here, and a little bit more. I got a soft brush, 90, something small, and you ain't got to actually worry about going on this because it's only going to affect the colors. So I had that right there, boom. So if you, if you like that, you can actually do it again, and... You can actually do a human saturation on top of that, and you can turn the knob a little bit this way. But remember, it also affects that color down or below, so you might want to think about that. So now that I got that, and I want to paint away, I'm going to paint away from my top up here. So this is how you can affect that, and you can actually lock this layer, so more likely it won't get affected. So. You could just lock it so it don't get affected, and when you start to paint, uh, it's starting to go into there. All right, now, so now that you got that, uh, you can lock that, which you satisfy for create another one, and do the same thing, and you might want to paint uh, much more better looking this one, and see what black takes out this time and bring it so that, that's pretty cool I just turned out here these three colors and you might want to turn it out a little bit And that's pretty much cool. So now I gotta straighten out like that, but I wanna actually keep it in multiple colors. So right there, it's pretty much paint, and we got the scoop. So when I'm actually done all this, I'm gonna unlock all these layers, and I'm gonna give it more of actual realism. So I'm gonna filter all this and Merge visible, and now that I've merged visible, I can call this back the picture. Pick. And where is it? Uh, I want to adjust our levels a little bit. Now, remember, same thing I did with there before, I can do it here. So, what I actually want to do is just uh, take away some of the, the levels all on the image and just lighten it up like certain areas a part of the image like here here and the only thing I really wanted to do because I wanted you to see be able to see the transition I was only really wanted to just darken the hat so now that I pretty much accomplished that, 
you can see this little color is from the, from the quick bad job I did, but it's pretty much gonna work for me right now. So now that I got that, I'm just gonna just merge that in. And now, now that I merge that in, I'm gonna create a new joint and filter, you know, my, my typical routine of high pass. And Give it light, give it light, where's it at? Give it light. Give it light. Give it light. And tone it down a little bit. That brings that brings a lot into it at that point. So I got the vivid light on there. Makes it look good. And I might want to color some of this. Color some of this right here. Color it. Oh, I'm on a wrong tool. Color it too. Just to color it up a little bit. Just to make sure I make the hat darker. Watch down a little bit, and I'm pretty much liking how it's starting to turn out, so it's pretty much cool. So I'm just gonna merge both of these, make visible. Now we actually got this, so, so now we can actually say that it's pretty much, pretty much done, and that's how you pretty much do that, guys. Thanks for watching.